just now is a hero, an absolute hero, the first, first major politician. First, the original skeptic of climate control. He sometimes stood absolutely alone, was demonized, vilified, uh, ridiculed. Uh, when we were being told by the left that, that uh, global warming was going to uh, submerge Manhattan and that we had to radically change the world's economy and even worse, America is vindicated on this issue. Uh, he stands now in 2010 as a man utterly vindicated. One lonely man stood out, Senator Jim Inhofe. Of Senator Jim Inhofe. Senator Inhofe, thank you very much. But let me reintroduce myself. I'm the bad guy who dared to look at the science of global warming back in 2000. The proponents of man-made catastrophic uh, global warming are being motivated by money. The concept that man-made gases are causing catastrophic global warming may well be the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. <clears throat> Hence this book. One of the things I don't think happens often enough in our society, in part because it doesn't happen uh, so often, that we have uh, public figures who stand up, set their feet squarely forward and say, this is, this is nonsense, we have to be fact-based, we have to be rational, and this nonsense has to end.